Todd Hamilton from Bubbleon, here with Alex Falkin, co-founder, and Phil Simon, author of the upcoming book, The New Small. Uh, we'll talk about three things in three different parts. The first part will be Kickstarter, the way that I'm sort of funding this book. It's not exactly the way a lot of books are being funded. Uh, then we'll move into uh, the specific technologies that the book covers, and it'll be more of an interactive discussion with um, Alex and Todd. And then the third part will be the specific companies being uh, profiled in the book. It's really a book about these companies because the central premise of the book is that it's better to be small, but any company can go out there and go into the clouds, right? Or use software as a service or open source, but not everyone is. Mm -hmm. So what's special about these companies? What, what makes them more agile hit? Why do they get it? And there's still plenty of small businesses out there that are afraid of social networks or they're afraid of open source. They don't understand mobility. So that's the sort of breakdown here for today. Sounds good to me. Um, so, Phil, when, when I met you, I thought it was really interesting. Um, I've heard about Kickstarter, but I hadn't necessarily gotten involved. Why Kickstarter? Why that, that method? Sure. And I know this isn't your first book, so I think that makes it more interesting. Sure. Uh, it's funny. About six months ago, I had a discussion with one of my friends, and he's got three young kids, and I said I might start a publishing company. And his wife looks at me and says, how do you do that? And they've got three little girls and they're adorable and you know they're, they're tugging at the mommy to throw in jello with their head. I say, well let me ask you this, when you had your first kid, did you know what you were doing? And she said, not really. But by the <laughs> second or the third kid, did you kind of know how things work? And she said, got your point. So I have a lot of strong opinions about the state of the publishing industry. And they seem to be like a lot of organizations clinging to an older way of doing things. There are some publishers, like I think O'Reilly, that tend to get a bit more but they're still in this sort of command and control type thing. We own the means of production. We can get your book out there. And to some extent, they still can, right? Mm -hmm. But anyone can blog. Anyone can go to a site like a Lulu and basically create an ebook or create a book. So I had been through the process before twice, once with uh, Wiley, once with another publisher, Cengage, and that actually, the first edition of my first book had gone to a company called Author House. So I'd seen different things, and I'm always observing, I'm always learning. So I saw what worked, what didn't work, and why. And for a Kickstarter, I had actually found out about it. I was watching a video with uh, Seth Godin, and he was mentioning how it's very difficult to compete for people's time and attention because there's just this uh, deluge of information out there on the internet. It's not that hard, though, to get money, right? Now, I'm certainly not independently wealthy, but to put a book out, it's not the equivalent of you know, building a physical building. So for a relatively small amount of money, you could basically fund your project. So when he mentioned Kickstarter, I checked it out and I saw that there were books, there were movies, there were other sort of artistic, creative endeavors, certainly a lot of artists, and I said to myself, why not give it a shot? The funny thing is, Todd, that there's no way I could have done this two years ago because I wasn't social media savvy. So yeah, I like to think that I've got reasonable people skills and when I met you, I guess a month or so ago, you know, we clicked, we liked technology, we didn't think we were the world's worst people. Right. But obviously there are only so many people that I can physically meet, right? I met you and Alex and some other people at the event. But there's this whole social world out there, so by communicating with people on Twitter, by retweeting their stuff, by commenting on their blogs, by being fans of their pages on Facebook, over the last two years, when I put the project out on Kickstarter, a lot of people said, oh yeah, that guy. Seem like a good guy, I appreciate it. It seems like an interesting topic. You've done other books. You're not asking for five hundred dollars. Sure, put me down for a copy for twenty-five dollars or um, so the cool thing about Kickstarter, Alex, and um, I think that a lot of other people have had success doing that, mm -hmm. is that some people will just go to Kickstarter.com to kind of see what's happened. Right? So people have funded my book or purchased a copy who had never heard of me three weeks ago. But they they heard about it on Twitter, they went to Kickstarter, they went to the front page. Mm -hmm and they found out about the book. I actually ran a guest post on my site the other day from a guy I met on Kickstarter about his project because he was doing something similar along the lines of small businesses. So it's a very social site. They make it very easy to embed widgets, to share, to tweet, and to obviously fund projects. The whole thing has sort of an Amazon back end because obviously there's the potential for a scam, right? Yeah, I'm writing a book, ha, 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 I just took your money. Um, well, they have safeguards in place to make sure that this is on the up and up.